Hey guys, welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Out here in my boat today, doing a little power pole installation for you guys. How to install a power pole. I got a bracket that mounts on my hydraulic jack plate. So the first thing you want to do is see where it fits. My mount is going to fit in between the motor and the jack plate right here. So I've already taken off the bolt for this. Um, right here it goes in. And when I had the bolt in there, I noticed there wasn't enough room on the edge of the bolt uh, for that jack plate to be in there, this, the nut would barely be on the edge of that bolt. So I've gone to Ace Hardware, gotten half inch uh, fine thread bolts, and they're stainless steel. They're a half an inch longer than the previous bolts as well. So we're gonna take, we're gonna loosen all these bolts up um, and put the motor down on a block of wood here and get started. And we're gonna loosen all these bolts. We got three more to go, two on the other side and we're going to install half of this mount inside of here at a time. Okay, I got my power pole bracket here. We are going to loosen the bolts a little more on this side, slide it in, tighten it up right there, and uh, this is where your power pole gets mounted to. And then there's also another little bracket you got to put on the other side to balance it out. Um, that way your motor's sitting flush. Okay, we just shoved this apart. Um, we got the bolts through the same slots and then we got a washer on the head side Now we're gonna put a new washer on the nut side and we also need anti-seize on these bolts Because we're putting stainless steel to stainless steel and uh, it'll seize up on you if you don't get anti-seize Now before we tighten these down We got to go to the other side take the bolts out put the new bolts on put the spacer in between there We're doing the same thing with anti-seize in the bolts and then we're gonna tighten it all up now We're taking these bolts all the way off we're gonna slip the spacer in between there um, if you have to mount your power pole in between your motor and jack plate you need a spacer for the other side um, some jack plates you can just mount the power pole straight to the side you don't have to worry about taking the motor bolts off but with this right height jack plate I have to mount it in between the motor and jack plate Which one was that? That one? Okay. All right. There we go. Just like that. We got our spacer installed. And now we just got to cinch it all down. Okay, we just got the bracket installed. This thing is solid, ready to go. That is all we need. Next step, we're going to mount the power pole on here. We're going to run the cables through here. And then we got to install the pump down in the bottom of the boat and hook it up to the battery. And we should be good to go after that. So we're going to get started on the power pole now. You want to put your bolts through this way. And you want the smaller washers on this side of the plate. And then you want your nuts on the back side with the bigger washers back here. Okay, now we are standing back. I'm eyeballing it to see if it's straight. Um, I think we need to go to the left a little bit, Dad. We're going to straighten it up just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good right there. Um, mm -hmm. Now we're going to snug the bottom two and uh, we're going to have a straight power pole. All right, we got the pump. We got to mount the bracket onto the floorboard in the boat first. And then this pump mounts onto the bracket just like that. Uh, so we got to drill four holes in the bottom of our boat. It's good. Doesn't that make you nervous? Dude, no, I, drew, I drilled a hole in my kayak and I was nervous. Not after <laughs> watching Joel drill all these holes in my boats for my graph. Oh no. <laughs> I got used to it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we are putting the screws in the actual pump and we're gonna be good to go, set up down there. Now we just gotta hook it up to the battery. We gotta pour our juice in there. We got some Green Marine ISO 32 oil. Put it in there, get the hydraulic pump going. Okay, we just got the hydraulic lines ran from the power pole through the cable here. And we just connected them, and uh, we got our cables from the pump ran to the battery. Um, it says not to run the one directly to the battery, the power side. It says to run it to the key start side, but um, since I'm a bass fisherman, I do not want to have to turn my key to use these, so I went straight to the battery. Um, as you can see, the green light's blinking. That means it is on and running. All right, so this is what comes with it. We're going to install this up by where I run my trolling motor. Um, it's got batteries in it. And supposedly it's Bluetooth connected and it's already hooked up to the power pole. So we're going to try it out here and see. Oh, you hear the hydraulic going down? 
oh, there we go. The hydraulic lines had to fill up with the oil. Hydraulic oil, now we're gonna bring it back up. And there it goes. The reason it lagged a little bit is because the hydraulic lines were empty, but we're gonna install this up front and we now have a working power pole. There's one more step I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna install a little cap on the tip of the power pole to help hold the boat in place just a little better. Here we go. Looks good. And there you have it. That was the end of installing the power pole. As you can see, we made a mess, uh, but we got stuff everywhere. We're gonna pick it up real quick. The last thing I wanna show you guys is installing the cat on this power pole. We're gonna epoxy it on there. You need to make sure you get one of those. It's gonna hold your power pole in place a lot better when you're positioned out there fishing. Got some epoxy out here. We are mixing it together on top of the nice power pole magazine they gave me. And then we're going to stick it down in here and get it all over the sides. All right. There we go, we got it done. We got it done, we're all epoxy. We're gonna leave it pressed against the ground there for about a day. That way it hardens and yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time on Fishing with Norby.